friends and hello from LIB 2023. I am at Lightning in a Bottle Music Festival. For those who aren't familiar, Lightning in a Bottle is a music festival that happens every year here in California. I guess it's moved locations a few times, but this year it's at Buena Vista Lake in Central California. I've been wanting to come to LIB for many years and it didn't work out for traveling reasons and I honestly only decided to come to this one about a week ago so it's been super last minute in addition to enjoying all the music and art and yoga which is so wonderful and beautiful I've also been invited to speak on a panel on Sunday evening and I'll tell you a little bit more about that later but we had a, a slow start to our festival journey. It took us forever to get out of town on Friday. We hit traffic so we ended up after checking in and finding our camp spot, it was getting dark and just kind of threw everything together. <laughs> Not in any sort of glamorous, vibey way that I had originally envisioned. And uh, yeah, just had a really fun night last night listening to music. And this morning I had an amazing, amazing morning. I did a yoga ecstatic dance class with Deep Exhale. I'll leave their information linked down below, but it was a beautiful kind of movement yoga session to a live DJ set with a live trumpet and a live spoken word artist. It was so amazing and just like a beautiful way to start my day. By the way, if you're new here, hey, I'm Alex. I'm a digital nomad spending my time between LA, Italy, Mexico, and other amazing parts of the world. And on my channel, I love posting about my travels, bringing you along with me as showing you what it's like to be a bi-continental digital nomad. But I also love posting thrifting, fashion, beauty content as well. So if that sounds interesting to you, please hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps my channel grow and it helps me bring more videos to you all each and every week. And speaking of thrifting, if you haven't already seen it, I did a whole video thrifting for this festival and I've already had a lot of fun uh, yesterday and today wearing my favorite thrifted pieces. So I'm going to be definitely inserting photos and showing you how I put those looks together but that was a really fun thrift with me I'll link it in the cards and yeah now I'm actually using like almost all of those pieces so it's been a lot of fun anyway right now I just came back to my camp I am having some coffee I need some bacon just resting a little bit under the shade because it is super hot eventually gonna get myself back together here again and go explore the grounds there is a class at 3.15, Afro beat yoga class that I'm really looking forward to. So just finish up my kind of late brunch here and get going. Yeah, well, we'll show you what I get up to. Back up, shrug the shoulders up to the ears. Then we're gonna squeeze a big squeeze. And exhale, open the mouth, drop it, please. Exhale, drop it down. <sighs> Keep it going. Uh, use the sound. Yeah, I don't know.
the day. Had some coffee, had some breakfast. Now I am headed to an acro yoga class. Well, first I'm going to the gong center where they're doing sound baths, sound meditation, sound healing, which is one of my favorite things in the world. Like no modality touches me more than sound healing. I always feel like so elated and almost even high after I do sound baths, which is so crazy and beautiful. But yeah, I want to do that and then I'm going to head to my very first acro yoga class, which I'm really excited about. I've been wanting to try that out and thankful to have the opportunity to be around, you know, professionals and coaches who can help me do it safely and learn the ways. So I'm going to do that and then wander around and see what goodies the festival brings today. Too much heavy, too heavy, right? Up high, up high, up to that last person, whoever hasn't got to receive yet. Yeah, nice today. Beautiful. Okay, we need to talk about what just happened because that shit was crazy. <laughs> oh, still hydrating after a weekend of being very hot <laughs> and exposed to all the elements. I mean, that was insane. That was truly a crazy experience with highs, with lows. I mean, it was so intense in terms of the conditions. Like if you've never done a camping festival before, I mean, this was a pretty arid, like deserty area. So you're camping out under the hot sun. If you're not well prepared, it's very, very hot because there's not a lot of shade structure. You're also like packed in like sardines, you know, it's not like one campsite there, one campsite there, like you're literally stacking tents next to each other. You're sharing all the amenities are temporary, right? So you're they're porta potties, they're like showers in trucks. So it was definitely like grungier than I expected, especially because another mini burn that I used to go to a lot in the Bay Area is on a gorgeous, gorgeous river that is really refreshing that you can jump in and out of. It's just so wonderful. Everyone talked about lightning in a bottle having a lake and yes, there was a lake, but it wasn't nearly as beautiful as like this other place I'm telling you about. Also, some people were talking about how it might not be great to like put your head underwater in that lake because of all the crazy rainstorms that California's had this year and the water might not be the safest. So I just, yeah, it was, it was intense. The conditions were definitely intense, like the lows of the festival, but oh my gosh, what a like beautiful experience. 
moments. I mean, lightning in a bottle just has something for everyone. Like, yes, there are the people who want to go there for like a mind altering experience. There are like family friendly spaces and people who go with their kids. There are groups of people who do it completely sober. I think there was a camp called Lightning Without the Bottle. It was just such a beautiful collection of people celebrating life. Now I have to say, I'm a really big music person, but I didn't go into this festival being like, oh my God, I'm obsessed with every headliner. I'm so pumped for the music. I think the headliners are pretty electronic and EDM heavy, which is not what I listen to on a regular basis. But I have to say the music really inspired me so much. Like there were so many smaller acts that just absolutely blew me away. I was like constantly trying to shazam and write people down. Yeah, the music was really amazing. And maybe I'll put together a little playlist for those of you who are interested. Um, but one of the things that I was most excited about was the workshops. There was everything from yoga to ecstatic dance to sound baths, meditations, acro yoga, afrobeat yoga, all these workshops about wellness and food. It was so incredibly beautiful to be exposed to all of those things. I tried belly dancing for the first time. I did acro yoga for the first time, which was so cool. I really wanted to try more of it, especially because it was fun, but I did it on the last day, which was so hot. Like I was, I was really dehydrated by day three. It was super hot and it was my first time doing any sort of inversions and I actually kind of like blacked out. <laughs> I mean, I didn't lose consciousness, but like my vision would go black. I talked to one of the instructors about it and she said, oh, it's normal. Just like keep hydrating. It's a really hot day. So that kind of like ugh, <laughs> threw me off a little bit. So I want to do it under more normal conditions. But oh my gosh, there was um, an ecstatic dance by a group called, oh my gosh, I'm gonna put it on screen. I can't think of it right now. And they were amazing. That was the one of the coolest events I did. It was like a yoga ecstatic dance combo with a live DJ, Marcus Wyatt, who's an amazing DJ, long, like really popular here in Los Angeles. And there was like a live musician playing flute and percussion and doing like vocal sounds. It was just so, so incredibly beautiful. I had such an amazing time. I learned so much. I branched out in so so many ways and I'm just so excited and proud of myself and it was so much fun. The surprise of the festival, the main reason I went to this festival is I was invited to speak on a panel on Sunday night about the future of impact media. And that's the space, the industry that I've worked in for most of my career. And I was so honored and thankful to be invited to the festival and invited to speak on that panel. It was so interesting to you know, be in the artist camp and like me, other people, artists, speakers, musicians who build community out of lightning in a bottle. And it was just like a really, really awesome introduction to that community. Yeah, it was so lovely. So that was Sunday night. All in all, a really inspiring, fascinating experience, especially speaking on a panel with other change makers. The vlog ended really abruptly because our talk was Sunday night and I had plans Monday, early Monday, like I needed to be here at a reasonable hour. And we knew getting out of there on Monday would be madness so we actually ended up leaving right after our talk like late at night well actually first so we had our talk and then we went to see toby wigway unbelievable like oh my gosh if you don't know toby wigway which i didn't know much about him at all prior to this show insane and if you have the opportunity to see him live you must because in my opinion, his like seeing him live way, way better than anything recorded on Spotify. Like I didn't know that much about him, which is like, what rock was I living under? If you've seen his YouTube videos, you probably get the vibe. If you've only listened to him on Spotify, like no, 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 no. Whole different story. Seeing him visually, seeing him live incredible like was not expecting music like that out of lightning in a bottle and wasn't expecting a show like that 
super powerful. He performs with his wife. They're just, it was just like a beautiful thing to behold. Like they were just such a power couple. Their music was so good. Their message was really beautiful and inspiring and badass. And that was one of my highlights for sure. And I'm really glad we stayed for that. But yeah, then we ended up hitting the road like after midnight, which ended up being okay. Like I had a lot of energy still cause I had plans to leave late and there was no one on the road and it isn't a very far drive from LA, especially at that hour with no traffic. It was under two hours. So anyway, oh my gosh. And then I was dead on Monday. Don't know how I carried on, but man, it was so, so interesting. I had a lot of fun with the clothes and the outfits. That was honestly the most fun part. Like getting to experiment with really out there outfits. You all saw me thrift for that event. And I used a lot of the thrifted items that I picked up. So I had a lot of fun styling those up, pushing myself out of my comfort zone. It was so, so, so fun. Playing with glitter, playing with jewelry. It was, it was a great time and I can't wait to do it again when I'm like more prepared. <laughs> anyway, I really hope you enjoyed seeing a glimpse into this part of my life. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to follow me along for more adventures around the world, seeing my thrifting, my lifestyle, my travels, and everything in between, please hit the subscribe button. It really helps my channel grow and it helps me bring more videos to you all each and every week. This was such a fun one to do. I thank you from the bottom of my heart for watching my vlogs. I know a lot of people on my channel are just here for the thrifting, but vlogs bring me so much joy and I can't wait to share more with you all. So uh, I post new videos every single Wednesday. So until next week, bye.